Hi guys, hope you're all well. Uh, today I'm going to do another one of the um, glazed ceramic look. Um, I did the green one in my last video uh, and it was just a, a good test for me really I suppose. Um, but I really fancy doing one in an amber so what I'm going to do is I've already prepped some clay guys but um, because my uh, Cerny Opaline was so soft I've just used some number one and some translucent and I've mixed maybe a third translucent in with some number one so it just gives the white clay um, a bit more of a gloss if you like rather than it being um, a flat white uh, so my clay is a bit stiffer to work with uh, which I think will be better anyway so we've got some clay I'm going to use my chalk pastels and I'm probably just going to use this um, burnt umber and black uh, to try and get a really um, a really subtle aged look uh, and we're also going to again use some Fimo liquid gel and I'm going to use honeycomb alcohol inks to tint my gel um, again you could uh, tint some resin um, at the end or a bit of your varnishing uh, just tint it with a bit of alcohol ink and you're probably going to get around the same effect as well right so I'm just going to do a simple circle one so I've got my circle cutter ready so first we're going to get some uh, grunginess on this um, and my brown this burnt umber is quite a ready brown so what I'm going to do is sprinkle a little bit of black on as well to knock it back so I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of that on and add a little bit of black and again fluffy brush and just swirl this around and get it buffed in so that the colours blend nicely. And I think I said this uh, in the last video. Um, let me just get that bit going. Um, just, you know, get it buffed into the surface. You know, if you've got a bit too much on, you could just get a wet wipe and dab in areas. And it'll just lift some of it off which is just what I'm going to do just to give it a bit more of a speckly look this, sh this brush is shockingly losing uh, its bristles okay I'm just going to dab this a little bit with a wet wipe just to help the blending and the aged look so I've not got any you know massive patches of it and I've got another bit of hair there I must move that brush and get it uh, not use it on my clay okay so I think that'll do for me we just put these pastels away then they're not getting everywhere clean my fingers now I've been hunting through my textures just trying to find um, a more modern pattern if that makes sense rather than an old worldy pattern so I'm just going to use this texture tread again again guys these are unfortunately discontinued if you have a quick look on eBay 
you may find some that just range your texture treads and where's my talc I'm just going to pop a little bit of talc on because I know that um, these have a tendency to stick I'll just swirl that in with my brush the excess off <coughs> oh I can see a bit of brown there okay so I'm just going to pop uh, let me find the middle just going to pop my texture sheet on there now and grab my block and I keep having to stand up to put a bit of pressure on quite sure what that is must have been a bit of clay still stuck in my um, let me get my little tool I must have had a tiny bit of silver clay head oh it's coming out I don't know what it is but it's hard so it's coming off just getting these little pieces I think it's just a little speckle of dried clay to be honest I'll just flick them out with my tool and I'll just see if I can get the other bits out with my brush there we go Ooh, that was easily fixed wasn't it okay so now I'm just gonna um, put a little bit of uh, relief a little bit of distressing on the relief so I'm just going to rub my finger on my black and my brown uh, to get a bit of a dark brown and I'm just going to go over the surface gently just to give those edges a bit more of a distressed edge it's funny the black one isn't as dusty as the brown one oh I've got some now that's better just wanted it a bit darker that I need to okay so we've got a nice a nice aged look on that now I'm just doing a couple of spots a little bit darker than others and I'll just give it a buff with my brush make sure there's no loose particles anywhere so there we go we've got our aged piece let's move them chalks <coughs> oh get myself a scrap of paper and I'm just going to cut a nice circle out of this So there we go we've got our pendant nice clean edges except for a tiny bit there let's get this picked up 
Where's my blade? Do you know? I shouldn't keep tidying oh, there it is. I shouldn't keep tidying up because I can never find anything then. Get that picked up. Pop it down. Just check my edges are nice and smooth. go okay guys I shall pop this in the oven to part bake um, oh I could make a donut couldn't I no I'll leave it as a disc I don't want any flooding um, right I'll pop this in the oven part bake it for 15 20 minutes uh, and we'll come back and put our glaze on uh, when I'm done see you in a minute hi guys we're all baked um, I've just gone around the edge with my uh, nail file um, just to take a couple of crumbs off but that's all I've done um, so yeah we're going to use some uh, of this gel I'll just give it a little I have mixed it once uh, but I'll just give it another little mix in the bottle and same as we did in the other video guys I'm just going to put um, about a teaspoon full on my tile and add some alcohol ink I think I'll do two drops of this amber because it's uh, quite quite a faint colour and I'm just going to mix that in There we go and again just using a paintbrush I'm just going to pick some up and start applying it to my pendant I might need a little bit more to be honest guys let me just pull that to the edge I'll get this spread around and then I'll uh, maybe just squirt a little bit of clear on top and mix it in it'll uh, add to that vintage look won't it so it'll be a little bit darker in places Just making sure I've got it into those little nooks and crannies it's quite a deep texture this one there we go I've got that spread around just make sure I've not got any drips down the edges there we go and I will just add a little bit more oh I screwed the whole lid off I'll just put a little dab on there and mix it with that remaining um, alcohol ink colour this is just to make sure that um, although I don't mind some of the ridges popping through 
I would like it to be um, mainly covered let's just get that dotted around oops smudged a bit get that dotted around I think that will be okay guys it's got a couple of little white bits on the edge that I'll just dot to make sure they're covered okay oh that looks quite cool doesn't it right I'll go and pop that in the oven get cleaned up and I'll see you when we're baked see you in a minute hi guys it's done now I've just give it a quick I've got a couple of bubbles here as well but I'm not worried uh, it's only a test piece isn't it I'll just give it a quick buff I'll let it cool down obviously uh, and I gave it a quick buff with my denim scrap and it's just bought a soft sheen on the surface but I really like that as well it's really excuse me really cool looking so just switching up the colours you use gives you a really different effect doesn't it mm, I'm definitely gonna be doing a few more of these I think um, but yeah I'll probably just stick a magnet on this and use it as a frig fridge magnet um, I was wondering whether to just glaze it and see if the, the shine makes a difference what do you think shall I I'll do it I'll put a bit of UV resin on it just so we can um, see the difference if that makes sense let me just grab some resin I've just got a little bit left in this bottle need a bit of acetone where are you sorry guys it's a bit uh, I'm a bit all over the show with this aren't I where's my little dish Oh, I've lost it. I'll just pour a bit in my lid wherever I've just put that. Don't do this, guys. Use a little dish. <laughs> I just need to wet my brush, that's all. I'll just put... Oh, can't get the top off. I'm just going to put a little coat on. just want to see what it looks like with a, a really good deep shine on it this will help fill in those little divots as well where the bubbles had burst oh I'm actually thinking it's gonna look f fabulous because it's high sheened let's just get that moving around dip my brush in that let me get me lighter I don't know where my big one is I'll use my little one I'm just gonna flash over the surface in case there's any bubbles it's quite bubbly this today I don't know what's up with it oh no my lighter won't work come on gas is going nope I'm not gonna worry about it it's got a couple of little bits floating on the top but I'm not going to worry about it guys it's just um, let's see if I can wipe them off I don't know if it's um, a bit of something in the resin you know a little bit of dust or something seems to be Floor into the surface. I'll just put a little bit more on. Let's see if we can get that divot to go over. Now, I wouldn't normally do this, guys. I would normally just do a couple of coats. Um, but as it's just a little sample piece, I'm not fussed about it going on a bit thicker. Just getting it to run. You can see these little bubbles. I don't know where they're coming up from. Just 
blowing on the surface that sometimes helps to get rid of them when you've not got a torch oh and now I'm dripping right I'll go and um, cure this guys uh, but I'm actually really liking that deep shine on top it's uh, added a little bit more depth to it I'll go and cure it I'll be back in a sec okay guys it's done and it does look lovely with that high shine on doesn't it and it just adds so you could do it kind of just with the gel and buff it when it's done which I think looks cool on the green but does also look really nice with a high shine on doesn't it uh, so there you go guys just a really uh, quick second go at that I just wanted to try it with some different colours I mean can you imagine doing it with some dark blues with a blue t you know the world's your oyster isn't it uh, to what colours you want to use uh, but yeah it looks uh, pretty cool hope you enjoyed that anyway <laughs> my little experiments with stuff uh, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you all soon bye